What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinistrina1, and welcome to my commentary version of the walkthrough that I actually played for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, this is actually me playing, so if you're listening to my voice right now, uh, I'm going to be talking over the cutscenes and over all the gameplay and stuff, so I can kind of give you my take on it. If you want to watch my full gameplay without any commentary, I will have a separate video up for that as well. For those of you that just want to uh, to kind of watch the cutscenes as well as just to kind of feel the gameplay uh, for yourself. So, First thing I just wanted to say, of course, thanks to Ubisoft for giving me the chance to um, record this, uh, and I'm really, uh, I gotta say, I had a lot of blast with this game. I played it, I want to say, for a good hour. Um, a recording time, I only got to spend like maybe 20 minutes or so to actually record. Whereas I played it a few other times at some other different events that was going on during the show and other appointments that I had and whatnot. But to my actual recording time with it was just about 20 minutes. And it's a very small demo. It, uh, really all it is is just a section where you have to kill like 10 people uh, and rescue a few hostages that they have. Uh, as well as you have a, a cart chase that you could go through and a kind of a street brawl. So let me give you just a little bit of, of the world. Uh, the, the small dem or demo section that we had, obviously this is alpha build, remember that. You guys have seen uh, some of this stuff before, uh, I'm sure, but of course this is myself playing it for the first time. So I remember um, figuring out you know, how to use uh, this new grapple that we have, which is really cool it makes everything a lot smoother when you're going up and down walls so again you don't have to use it um, but it's definitely going to help the gameplay feel a lot smoother especially when you're going from big leaps from one building to another just like pretty much right here you're going to notice that you can easily leap across from one building to another as opposed to thinking to yourself am i going to actually be able to make this leap or not now you know for sure that you will be able to make it even if you're higher than the building itself you'll jump down and snag onto it just like that so everything feels super smooth i didn't really have any problems with lag or any problems with anything glitching of course remember it's the alpha build so i'm sure that they polished up this section of the game to look really great so for us uh, to be able to record and be able to play it nice and smooth so how do i feel about the characters obviously the only character that i got to control was uh was jacob here which he plays definitely more like a brawler character as you can see um, he's got his little top hat on and all that kind of stuff But the only time that he ever goes into his Assassin's Creed kind of mode is when you're in stealth Then he'll flip up his hat and then you'll actually be able to kind of go stealthy and all that kind of stuff So everything is normal just like before um, I I do this mission twice and I do it specifically twice to show you guys some different aspects of the gameplay as I didn't want to do everything completely stealthy I wanted to show you guys um, obviously the stealth part, but as well as some of the more action part and the different things that you can do with the different mechanics that is in this game as well as the different uh, kind of weapons that you have at your disposal. So you'll see uh, everything works pretty much the same. They've actually changed a little bit up from Unity. Uh, for The biggest thing that they changed, which is a very huge welcome change, was the confusing part was when you were getting out like say gadgets or weapons and then using said gadget or weapon you'd have to press like R1 and then L1 or L2 and then R1 it was kind of a weird which way to figure out which one you needed to use well they streamlined that and it's more like a third person shooter in a way so if you ever whatever weapon you have equipped which you can equip with either the left and right on the d-pad will help you decide what you're going to do and what you're going to use so all you got to do is hit the LT depending on what uh, the left trigger or L2 depending on what system you're playing on and you'll automatically kind of aim down sides just like this and all you have to do is hit RT or the trigger on the right side to go ahead and use whatever gadget that you're using it's no longer specifically like pressing R1 or, or something different so the one that I used here was kind of a hallucinization so I didn't need to come down here and mess with any of these guards I just did that because I wanted to get a little bit of the combat gameplay in so uh, what you'll see is that you see the, the mark above their head all that means is that they're automatically dead so it's just like the hallucination in every in all the other Assassin's Creed games from from past where you can actually kind of make them go crazy and kill each other and then they'll automatically die at the end. So I get a state up and just kind of let them do everything themselves, which I will show you that a little bit later on in the second part of the walkthrough. So here uh, we have another thing. I'm pretty sure this has been, you've been able to do this, this kind of thing before, but here we're going to try to set up a multi-kill uh, using this, you know, beautiful thing here to the right. So we're going to try to 
drop it on some of the enemies. So what I want to do is I want to take out this lonesome guy on the right here with a with a knife. Now remember, it's not an instant kill unless you get like a headshot or it's a lethal kill. But you can also use your knives to distract enemies to get them in certain locations. So here I'm placing it next to this guy so that the other guy will actually come into that area. Uh, and that makes it for an easier kill. So all you have to do is shoot the rope and then bam. Uh, you can get two kills out of that and that's really, really cool. So the first section is just we're killing 10 people and we're kind of liberating this part of the city. It's now ours. We're controlling a gang. Again, never got the chance to play as Evie as she is definitely the more stealth oriented character. But he has just as many stealth moves as she does. Except her, or her fighting style and his fighting style is obviously a little bit different so as you can see we completed all the challenges free all the rooks so obviously you guys know the challenges are back and this is just a small small section of the map the bottom section of the actual huge map so from what uh, they explained to me the map is huge like really really big so i can't wait to actually get into that as well so here we're going to show off some of the chase kind of gameplay. Now what was really cool, and this was something I didn't know until after I played the demo. They didn't want to tell me beforehand because they wanted to see uh, what I would do, how I'd react to this. So here's a chase scene. Now you can see where it says kill bloody Nora. So myself being the man that I am, I always like to go through and take out any anybody along the way. Now I didn't actually have to do this. I didn't have to stop and take out these enemies. That guy in green is actually one of the guys that I just rescued. So they will actually help you out uh, in the streets when they see you and things like that. The ones that you liberate. So here we get into cart combat, which is actually pretty cool. I myself was more focused on trying to get to the target. Now you, you'll notice that no, the target is no longer available. That actually just says locate her. So we just head to the location. However, if I wouldn't have taken out those enemies in the beginning and I kept chasing after her, we could actually kill her right here. And that will change the, the cinematic that plays in the end of this part. So if you were super high speed and you wanted just to go straight for the kill and didn't worry about anyone else, this is the first time I was playing it so I just wanted to, um, to experience as much as I could. I had no clue that you could actually kill her at that moment because I just assumed we needed to get to this point to continue the story, but that's not the case. Uh, you can actually take her out and the cinema that plays during this section will actually be different Now I'll talk more about the cart combat in the next section as we do a little bit more combat into with while using the cart here I wanted to get straight through it and see how smooth driving it uh, could actually be so here is our first real chance at some actual combat so kind of like that street gangs uh, you know 1v1 here, and it's it's pretty cool. He's very fluid when it comes to brawling um, I'd have to say at least from what I experienced it's it is pretty pretty simple the same thing applies He he doesn't have any swords or anything like that But he's still got his pistol so he can use his pistol at any time he wants to kill and of course you can change that to any other uh, Different objects that you might have equipped like again with the L and R d-pad buttons But the the combat is very brutal. It's smooth. You can chain your combos and all that kind of stuff uh, we don't do any counters or anything like that during this first section. However, we do that in the second part as I was kind of going through here and just seeing what I could pull off and what I can do for the first part of the demo. So once you get to 10 out of 10, then that's pretty much it. That's the actual demo right there. It's not a very long demo, but it's always, it's just based off of how much you want to actually go through the game yourself or go through the demo itself. So as you can see, there's our second character. And uh, I'm, I'm really interested to, to get to know these two and to see how they're going to play off of each other. Uh, from what they told me was you'll be able to do certain missions as, um, as Jacob and vice versa. So uh, if you want to tackle a certain mission uh, with a specific character, you want to go in brawling or you want to go in stealth, it gives you the opportunity. So here I am. I'm just starting over again and we're going to do things maybe a little bit differently to show you guys uh, a few different things. Now, of course, I always start out with um, inverted. I've always been an inverted player. I don't know why. I know a lot of people think that's kind of weird, but um, I guess it's just, you know, getting used to those flying control games where down is up, up is down. I just kind of got used to it. So it feels natural for me to be inverted. And I, I, I can't honestly, <laughs> I don't even know how you guys are normal where up is up and down is down. That's just, to me, that's just weird. Unless of course it's a PC game and you've got a mouse in your hand, then it has to be up and down is the way it's supposed to be so I, I'm just one of those few I guess so here like I said I'm gonna take a little bit more of my time and kind of see them the mechanics that are available to us and as you can see uh, it's very smooth using the grappling and also in certain sections uh, you're definitely gonna want to it's gonna make like 
chasing a lot easier and other things like that where um, you wouldn't normally be able to like there was a train going by and you're able to uh, grapple up to this little thing that you wouldn't normally be able to get up to. Um, so obviously, you know, there's going to be some some mandatory use of the grapple kind of later in the game and things like that. But I just love being able to go from one roof to the other because I always thought it didn't make a lot of sense that there would always be some type of beam from one part of the building to the other. Uh, and now that we're in the Industrial Revolution and it's, you know, the 18, I think it's it's between like the 1860s and 80s or somewhere around in there. Everything is more modern. So you're not going to have uh, sections where you're going to easily be able to get across because there's a bar, you know, that you can walk or run on. So now obviously using that is going to definitely come in handy. So in the first part, I didn't actually know that you could do something that I've, that was uh, lacking in the last Assassin's Creed. And uh, of course you will see it right here. One of my favorite things, thank God they brought it back, whistle. <laughs> Because whistling is just like one of the most important things in any Assassin Creed or any stealth game in general. Whist whistling is something that definitely should be in every game. As, as well as crouching. Crouching and whistling are, are things you definitely need in every stealth kind of genre of a game. So we only had a few weapons at our disposal. We had the hallucination darts, we had uh, a pistol, and we had the, the throwing knife. So again, you can go up very easily, take out... Uh, enemies obviously women are very are a lot more prominent in this game uh, than they were before um, so here uh, really the, the the best way to take out all of these enemies is with that hallucination dart but I remember that last time there was a fourth enemy that was on the left side that came over and saw me so this time I decided that I wanted to do it even more stealthier than last time because uh, last time we did it more of like a brawling way. We just hallucinated them all and just fought everybody to, to take a look at the mechanics. But I see that there's another one of those things that you can drop on a soldier over here. So I go ahead and decide uh, to move along here. Now you'll see that it'll skip a little bit in the video right there. That's only because uh, with the recording software they gave us, it cuts the videos um, a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much where it cut it and it had to start back up again. But um, so as you can see, we dropped that on him. Now we just have to worry about these guys. So we're going to go ahead and use that same method that we did last time, which was the hallucination. Um, yeah, it's got a hallucinogenic dart. So you can use it on this fire here once they're all three inside. And then you can just, we didn't get the third guy, but we got the two. And of course, the two will actually take him out if we need be. Or we can go back in and just kind of like have our little fun as well. And you can see our guy below is actually helping us out as well. So uh, it's really cool that uh, you can use that. And of course, we go ahead and take him out. I don't want our guy to die. And they're kind of dealing with themselves. So it's always fun to watch uh, the other enemies kind of take uh, themselves out. So finish him off like a, like a boss. And there you go. So uh, so we now have three more, three more enemies to go to. And I, I think I pretty much... No, I don't do the same thing on this one. I think... Um, I take a, a different kind of stealth route. So as you can see, now we're in stealth. So I wanted to show you what what that looked like. That he actually takes his top half, his top hat off, and he goes into the normal Assassin's Creed kind of look, which is uh, really cool. I gotta say, it's really smooth. Uh, definitely feels a lot better than Unity. Um, and I never had really that m many problems with Unity. I did. You guys saw the problems that I had, but for me they were minor. They didn't. They weren't game breaking. You know, like maybe some other people had. I never experienced all of those. So um, I really, really enjoyed this. Now I tried to use the same method that I used ba before because I wanted to see how often will something like that work. So obviously it works with definitely at least one person. I guess it's directional, dependent on how close it is to someone else. So I decided, you know what, I've already showed you guys what we can drop that on. So let's do something else and um, see what we can mix it up a little bit. So we're just going to jump on him here, or her, I think. I can't remember if it was him or her. And then we'll just do a, a you know, go over here and take this big baddie out. I, I'm not sure if I do a counter or not. I think I want to see what the counter looks like, but no, it doesn't look like I pull it off there. All right. So free all the rooks is done. And... Again, same cutscene. And now we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm still going to go after those two because um, I, at this time I still didn't know that you could actually kill Nora uh, the moment after you start chasing her. Um, I didn't I didn't know that until the very, very end when uh, I was talking to some other people that uh, explained uh, that situation to me. So, But what I want to show you guys now is more of the cart battle which is really, really cool. It was actually smooth, very easy to control the cart. If you've played um, Assassin's Creed Revelations, they had a lot of the, the cart kind of gameplay in that one, if you remember from the beginning when you're, um, 
when you're chasing that guy down, the Templar. But, uh, so here we're going to do, do more of this uh, chase scene up here. I almost didn't want to kill her. She's pretty. Although she is a Templar, so I guess we do. They're really emphasizing a lot on the, the females in this. Like, the having a, a broad range of enemies and things like that. So, again, still wanted to go after these guys here. I don't know why, but... Um, and whenever I see enemies, I just want to take them out. <laughs> it's so cool. So... You'll see that it'll actually say you're, she's losing, you know, you know, reduced distance to target. But once she gets too far away, now she's gone. And now it's just on uh, locate uh, Bloody Noir. So here, I'm going to slow down a little bit. And I'm going to let some of these enemies kind of chase up to us. And you can see what we can do. We have a ram. We have a boost. You can actually get on top of the roof if you want to. And do some jump from roof to roof. and Which is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me a lot of Wheelman. I think it was Wheelman where you could jump right from roof to roof to do different... Uh, uh, combat situations and take other people's vehicles and stuff so you can ram into vehicles get them off the road uh, You saw that in the first actual part of the video uh, We were we were fast enough to where we didn't have to worry about this But uh, you can see that you know if you if you if this is kind of your thing you're gonna have lots of fun with the cart gameplay um, <laughs> It just it's like Grand Theft Auto with carts uh, in the, It's so great. I loved it um, and of course the last section that we have up here again is nothing but the battle that we have from one gang to another. So in this battle, I wanted to use more countering moves. I wanted to see how fluid the countering was and to see if it's changed changed any since the previous version. And I got to say that it was really smooth, really easy to counter. It felt like it didn't take as long to counter as, say, other ones. Like if you were in the middle of something, it felt to me that I was able to easily go to someone else and counter while I was in the middle of attacking someone else. So that to me is good because that means that I don't have to worry about animations to finish that uh, I can actually do things a lot quicker and uh, really enjoy the, uh, the the combat and the gameplay but I mean with with my time with this game I gotta say I really really enjoyed it and I hope hopefully all you guys did uh, as well enjoy this gameplay as this to me seems like finally an Assassin's Creed game that uh, that is going to live up to its reputation I feel like it's really good see there's a very easy to counter uh, feels really good and stuff like that. So again guys, thank you so much for watching Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of Assassin's Creed Syndicate gameplay I know I enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all uh, Any games from E3 and things like that and hopefully you guys enjoyed and of course I uh, will see you next time. Peace out bitches Ladies and gentlemen We are Jacob and Evie Fry and as of this moment, you all work for us.